In this uh, video, we'll be going over the steps in getting your own pace factor. So, uh, but first, uh, we just have to define what really is uh, what really is uh, pace. So, Wikipedia um, defines a pace as either a single step or a double step. But uh, in the field, it is usually more convenient to follow follow uh, or equivalent um, pace factor is uh, equivalent to a single step because uh, it, it's, it's usually more convenient to count every single step rather than skip. Uh, skip the next step and count on the second step okay so it's more uh, usual that uh, a pace factor is equivalent to a single step okay so these are the steps in um, getting the pace factor first you have to measure at least 50 meters using a tape on level ground so make sure it's a level ground for more accurate uh, measurements and 50 meters I think not too short uh, for precise measurements of your uh, pace and it's not also too 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 far to walk no? so for for several trials so i think 50 meters is a good number and next is you have to walk naturally on the measured line so you just have to walk from this point to the next point and then count your steps as you walk along the line and then record your number of steps that you took that uh, you took to walk the measured line okay so repeat steps two and three, this one. So you will repeat uh, walking along this line for at least five times. So you have five trials for more accurate results later. Now when you calculate your mean pace factor, and then you have to tabulate your trial data and compute the mean pace, pace uh, factor. So it's, it's, it's as simple as doing that. No? Just walking and then recording the number of steps you took in walking the measured line. And then for tabulating your uh, trials here's uh, an example table so for example uh, for uh, trial 1 you walk uh, 67 steps and then trial 2 you have 68 66 and then you have um, 67 again and then 68 okay so in calculating your uh, pace factor you just have to divide the uh, measured uh, line divided by the number of steps okay so pace factor will have a unit of meter per step okay so for trial one you just have to compute 50 meters divided by 67 that's uh, point zero, uh, 0 0.746 so 746 meters per step uh, for trial two we have 68 no we have 50 divided by 68 and then you have 0 0.735 735 meter per step and then you have 50 divided by 66 that's uh, 0 0.75 75 7 or that's 75 8 75 8 meter per step Again, that's 67, that's 0 0.746 meter per step. And then we have 68, that's 0 0.735 meter per step. Step. Okay, for the mean pace factor, just have to get the average of all um, from all the trials. So, pace factor from all the trials, you have mean pace factor. So, you have PF mean is just equivalent to. Uh, 0 0.746 plus 0 0.735 plus 0 0.758 plus 0 0.746 plus 0 0.735 divided by 5. So your main pace factor is equivalent to uh, so we have 0 0.746 plus 0 0.735 plus 0.758 plus 0.746 plus 0.735 divided by 5. So you have 7.44, 0 0.744 meters. Per step so this is now your own pace factor so every time you're going to measure a line which has uh, a known measurement so we have D for example we have D 
And then you just have, just have to walk so that line from uh, this point to that point and then you'll have an, an estimate of uh, how how long is this distance uh, based on your pace factor okay so that's it that's it for determining your own pace factor so again thank you for watching and if you have comments and questions just uh, uh, write in the comment section so we'll get into it if uh, we have time okay so again thank you for watching